the legislature. I do want to thank uh, Mary for running. You know, this is what democracy is all about. Uh, you know, we, we have these districts that have been drawn in a way that some of them are, are not very competitive, but that's not to say that we shouldn't have a choice and we shouldn't have people running on either side. So I, I, have, I mean, both of us are running and, uh, and I, I'm excited to be here today to talk to you. I've been here before, as you know, so I have a, a certain sense of what some of the issues are that are important to you. So I must admit, I, think, I feel like I have a little bit of an advantage because I, I know you guys better. But I want to talk about the two largest portions of the budget. Um, one is the education portion, the other one is Medicaid. Um, give you a little bit of a, a little bit of background, a little bit of an update too from my perspective. Um, so the education budget, as you know, has uh, been decreased in the last couple of budget cycles. In my view, that is the opposite way uh, in which we should be going. I, I guess most of you know that one of the few things we are constitutionally obligated to do is to provide for a common, thorough, and efficient education. Pat Bruns knows this, I'm sure the rest of you know this, um, but I take that pretty seriously. And right now we have an unconstitutional funding system because we're underfunding uh, at the state level and relying on property taxes at the local level, which is why you constantly see these levies running. Um, the school board has a levy on this time, issue one, vote for issue one. Um, so anyway, um, I, you, we've been fighting for this and trying to get the, uh, the majority party to invest in education. Um, we have not been entirely successful, but one place where we're having some success, albeit small, is early childhood. Uh, there is a big movement, as you know, in Cincinnati, the Preschool Promise, to start to invest in early childhood because it's great for those kids and gets them ready to learn in kindergarten, but also because it's a great return on investment. Uh, and really, that's where we should be investing because it makes the most sense. And so um, we have not done that at the state level. Uh, we, we have tended to neglect that area. So in the last budget cycle, um, a couple of us who were on the steering committee for the Children's Committee got $32 million pushed into that budget to provide access to quality preschool for kids that didn't have access. And so we were successful in doing that. Peggy Lehner, who's a Republican in the Senate, and myself in the House, collaborated with a few other folks to make that happen. We have been talking to the governor's office. Um, we are talking to our colleagues, getting, trying to get them to understand the value in this. And I'm hopeful that in the next budget we'll have some more success and push more money towards this purpose because it really is important to the kids to be ready to learn uh, when they get to kindergarten. The other piece is Medicaid. And I see some folks in this room that have been involved in the Medicaid expansion um, discussions. Uh, at the state level. Um, as many of you know, that did not get passed by the legislature. We do have Medicaid expansion in Ohio. The legislature, though, did not do that. The controlling board did it. Representatives of the legislature, but the legislature never took a vote. That is for two years, right? So within two years, we're going to have another, have to have another action of the legislature or the controlling board to continue Medicaid expansion. This is, as Carl Owens, this is a big deal in Ohio. The folks, let me remind you, that are covered through Medicaid expansion tend to be the working poor. These are people with jobs. Uh, they don't have high paying jobs. They don't have health care through their, their employment, nor can they necessarily afford it with the wages that they're making. And so that's the population that we're talking about. This is going to come up. I was a big proponent of Medicaid expansion and spoke locally uh, at a couple of different forums. I'm trying to make sure people understood what we were talking about. Ultimately, we were successful, but through the controlling board. And so uh, we're going to have to do something again. I expect that this is going to be a battle again. Um, but I stand very firm in my um, support for Medicaid expansion because I really think it's critical uh, for the health of citizens in Ohio. And by the way, that's going to save us money, too. Uh, because those folks, this is preventive care for people that otherwise are using the emergency room for uh, preventive care and uh, really primary services. We need to shift that and get them into a medical home and so they don't use the emergency room. So those are two things that I think you're interested in, things that I'm interested in, but uh, I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, do you want us both up here? Or? Um, we'll, we'll save the questions till after. Uh, okay, great.